Good morning, church, and welcome to another edition of the COD News. My name is Ogo. The early Monday morning meeting, which starts from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., will be having a special program tagged Perfect Praise tomorrow. The program will feature our very own God's Will Otonye. The venue is at the Teens Tent. Please make sure you are there to kickstart your week in praise. How do you know a person is hot? A person is hot when the person takes the things of God serious. Are you hot? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, how? I come to church regularly. I pray. I evangelize. How many times do you come to church? I come to church every Tuesday, every Sunday. I also come. How about Thursday? How about Wednesday? How about Friday? <laughs> uh, there is a difference between hot and cold and lukewarm. Sir, is when we are talking about hot, we are talking about piping hot. Piping hot, not jelenke hot. Piping hot. Pastor. Everywhere you go, Jesus, Jesus, yes, Jesus, Jesus. Pastor, you ah, can be hot that's hot now, yes, please. Sir. You can be hot for God by doing CSR. Who said that? Upstairs. Upstairs. Yes, sir. You can be hot for God by doing CSR yes, because that's my area. I give you them. Hey. <laughs> okay, how can you know somebody is cold? Come on. The Good person work. is no longer stable when it comes to the things of God. For example, and he gives excuses not to be in church. You know, they always have activities that take them out of church. They no, they, they no longer evangelize, and they pray once in a while. They're distracted. You know, yeah, they are distracted. They they don't really have time for God anymore. Oh, let's clap for hands. Praise the name of the Lord. So tell anybody, don't be lukewarm, and don't be cold. There's a beard. No, you're not saying it now. You shake the whole person and say, Be hot! Oh. Okay, do it one more time. Be hot! Uh -huh. Join us this Tuesday as we meet for yet another inspirational time to study the word in a no holds barred manner at our Digging for Gold service, holding here in the sanctuary at 6 30 p.m. The Handmaidens Fellowship are on recess but you can catch their previous services on our YouTube platform. Resumption of their meetings will be communicated in subsequent broadcasts. While on Friday, we shall be dedicating a full hour of total praise and worship to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords as we bow in full adoration to him at our His Lord's Praise Hour service, starting at noon. Still on Friday, the movie The Mark Part 2 will be airing at the Teens Church. Come along with a friend to enjoy this movie starting at 6 p.m. I want you to lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father, today come down in a very special way. Wipe away all tears from our eyes. All those who have made up their mind that they just won't let you go, the consuming fire will deal with them. My summer camp experience last year was amazing. It was splendid, to be exact. Um, starting from the spiritual activities, I felt like I really had this deeper connection with God. I really got to connect with God, and my speaking tones became stronger. A lot of teenagers got a lot of spiritual gifts, both those that they could manifest immediately and those that stayed in their life afterwards. I think it like created a platform for teenagers to come and, you know, and lay down some of the problems which they are facing. We're able to interact with one another and share secrets which we normally wouldn't to people and we're able to get solutions to our problems. Teenagers had nice different set of meals that they could choose from. It was amazing. 
and on some few cases they were able to take another round for those that you know it will uh, like a platform to encourage children to be their best and we know that by the grace of God this year's um, edition is going to be wonderful it's going to be mind-blowing it helps us to build both physically and spiritually we need your financial support we need your support in every way possible that you can and we would very much appreciate this because it is going to be an experience that your teenagers would love Have you ever struggled with your devotion on weekdays? Not to worry. We present to you Carpe Diem, an early morning fellowship, holding from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. at the centers showing on your screen. It's a time of worship, prayer, and devotion in God's word. If you find yourself in the area around this time, take some time to attend, and you'll be glad that you did. Hepatitis B virus is one of the deadly viruses causing hepatitis, that is, the inflammation of the liver. Statistics show that 20 million Nigerians are living with hepatitis B with 5 million deaths every year. Carriers are most times unaware as symptoms might not be obvious. Prevention is better than death. Do you know your status? To mark the World Hepatitis Day, get at the Healing Stripe Hospital today, as today is the last day to get screened for free. As we bring this broadcast to a close, we pray that our journey of It Is Well will end with victorious testimonies. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the city of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.